Welcome back and thank you for being here. After this video, be sure to check out our Sunday craft video. Today's lesson, we will be learning about Pentecost. For those of you that are beginning to learn the church season, it's important to note that the church will celebrate Pentecost on May 31st. Why is Pentecost important? Well, as a church, it is when we celebrate the birth of the Christian church. As for the disciples, this is when the Holy Spirit came to them in a very dramatic way. And you can find this story in the book of Acts, chapter, ver chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. This morning, we will have some friends help teach us this passage. Hi, Otto. Who's the present for? Well, Clara, last week Pastor Pete said Pentecost was like the church's birthday. So I decided to get the church some smart-looking curtains. You know, spruce the place up. Oh, my goodness. He did say that. So he meant that it was First Second Church's birthday? Uh, yeah, something like that. Well, I don't want to show up empty-handed. No, you do not. Not on the church's birthday. Buildings hold grudges like nobody's business. I got in a feud with my garage once, and I still don't go in there. But where can I get a gift at this hour? On a Sunday? Relax, Clara. We'll just pop down to Megaware Hardware and pick up some bathroom tiles. Or a fresh can of paint. Oh, thank you, Otto. You're the best. You could get a rake, you could get a hose, you could get a thermal electric water heater. I don't want to get the church just anything. I want it to be special. You could buy some door frames, or some carpet, or a set of titanium squirrel resistant roof gutters. Hey, didn't Pastor Pete say there would be divided tongues of fire attending the party? I think he said those words, yes. I could get a fire extinguisher. You know, in case they get too rowdy. Good thinking. You can't trust fire tongues at parties. Where's the party taking place, Otto? I don't know. I figured we'd hear it. I expected something like a carnival mixed with a fair. Mixed with a mixer. Well, I don't hear anything. Hey, Victor, where's the birthday party for First Second Church being held? Birthday party? What in the world are you talking about? Because of Pentecost, Claire and I went to Megaware and got some small home improvement items for the church. Because it's the building's birthday! Um, the building wasn't founded today. It was built in April of 1913, as you can clearly see in the cornerstone right over there. Then, what was Pastor Pete talking about? He meant that Pentecost was the birth of the church itself. Right! The birth of the church we're standing outside of! No, 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 no. Not the church building. The church is a community of Christians around the world. Pentecost was the beginning of the church because it's the day the Holy Spirit came among the disciples. Are you with me? Oh, yeah! And that was right before the disciples went out into the world telling everyone the good news about Jesus. So the church didn't start with a building. It started with the Holy Spirit. So there's no birthday party? Not for the building. No. Oh. Oh. Lucky we saved our receipts. At the very least, we'll get store credit. Have you considered purchasing trick and trap supplies? They're having a special on some of my favorite items. Wow, this is such an incredible story. There is so much that happens in it. First, this huge gust of wind comes through, and this would have been something that the disciples would have never seen before. Then, just imagine being there with the disciples and seeing a flame on top of your head and those around you, and then hearing and being able to speak many different languages. I mean, this is one of the most exciting stories. So, what are some ways we could demonstrate the wind that the disciples might have witnessed? So we thought it would be fun to demonstrate this with using ping pong, balls, ping pong balls, and my son is helping us with that. He is going to be holding the hair dryer. He's going to blow the ping pong balls off the table. And the ping pongs represent the disciples. And the ping pongs will scatter just like the disciples would have when the wind had hit them. And the one who gets blown away the farthest wins. 
So you and your family could give this a try and think, how is something that you could do to show that we are all filled with the Holy Spirit?